Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm from Clay Expression. Today I'll be talking about speed control and how speed affects your throwing on the wheel. Do subscribe to our channel by pressing on that subscribe button. Let's go! I always think of throwing on a wheel as like driving a car. My foot is on the pedal that controls the speed of the wheel and my hands are on the clay to guide it to transform to whatever form I want. I remember learning how to drive. So excited to get into the driver's seat and just drive the car. But it's not as smooth as I thought it would be. Every little thing scares me. Whenever I'm scared, I would just slow down or hit the brakes. You can just imagine it. It is not a very smooth ride. But I got better at driving in time. I got used to the pedal. I got used to the brakes. The transition between accelerating and stopping was smoother. So it's kind of like throwing on the wheel. It takes practice. What is the relationship between the speed of the wheel and the hand? We want to have the speed consistent and our hand movement consistent. This is the key to success. I see a lot of my students getting really excited when they see their piece forming in front of them. The walls of the piece is rising and everything is just working well and suddenly, subconsciously, they slow down the wheel. Why? Because everything is working so well and why slow down the wheel? Because they were just suddenly scared. They are scared that they will lose the piece. So they slow down thinking that by being careful, everything will work out. But little do they know that when the wheel is slowed down, their hands slow down as well because they're trying to match the speed to be careful when your hands are moving slow together with the wheel we have to be even more careful so the chances of making a mistake is actually higher when we move really slow also the pressure between the two fingers or the two hands can increase without you consciously knowing and what happens is that it thins the wall too much and the piece collapse. Or it could happen this way, the wheel slows down, your hands did not slow down and your hands are moving faster than the wheel, this would cause a spiral in the piece. Then the very symmetrical piece is gone. So the lesson is always to keep your speed consistent. 